We move to the final phase and the final gold medal for the ladies here, the floor exercise. Certainly the most beautiful of all the events. And this is Tamara Lasakovich of the Soviet Union in third place coming into the final round. Jim, she's been so impressive all the way through that if you don't mind, I'm just going to sit and enjoy the performance. I don't mind. Pick up the music. And that speaks for itself, Jim. Tamara Lasikovic, who has won a silver medal here tonight, but is still waiting for her first individual gold medal. Hey, that's a good one, 9.80. 9.80 for Lasikovic. She'll be the one they have to pass. She was in third place coming into the final, so. Watching a little of the exercise in slow motion without the music, Back handspring, nice high straddle layout back somersault. Fine performer. The leader in floor exercises coming to the final round is Ludmilla Turesheva. She is the women's all around champion. An important peripheral person in all these gymnastics competitions is the accompanist. Each team brings their own and the performance and the music must be perfectly joined together. Yes, Jim, now watch the opening of Tourist Chiva. Big. A double twister. tie her for the lead right now. to the lead right in that corner. Doris Shaver. The world's greatest all-around woman gymnast. But still looking for her first gold medal in the individual event tonight. As Gordon indicated, that one little slip in the corner may have caused her. She needs 9-7-0 to tie for the lead right now. But there's one more gymnast to come. Here, I think in slow motion, we're going to get to watch that back flip where she lands a little bit short. 9-8-0. Excuse me, Gordon. She's she got, got a 9-8-0. All right. She is the leader. I think she's overscored, but I'm not sitting in one of those chairs. You can see that she missed the trick. As I said, there's one more gymnast to go. You might have guessed. It's Olga Corbett. 
She has a gold now, and she has a silver. To win another gold, she needs a performance of 9.90. That's what she got on the balance beam. What an exciting little gal. Watch how she beams and plays to the crowd. Isn't that something? Interesting, you can tell. She just feels like nothing can stop her now, huh? <laughs> Gee, I hope she gets it. Had a couple of little farm breaks, but so did her teammate. Oh, yeah. Oh. She feels like she could fly to the moon under her own power right now. She got it! She got the 990 and another gold medal. Can you believe that? Right now, watching our little winner, Olga, in slow motion. Tremendous lift, high arch. She comes down into a chest roll, and the leg break there is what I was speaking of in her exercise. I was afraid it might cost her the championship. <laughs> Everyone, with the possible exception of her famous teammates, 19-year-old Taurus Jaber. And 18-year-old Tamara Lazakovich. Later, I talked to the girl who had stolen the spotlight at the Olympics. I don't know. I don't know. But I really wanted to be in New York. Uh, I simply don't know. I really can't tell I would like to see. But what I would like to see probably was New York. Tell her we, New York would sure like to see 